a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Henry Bolton, British politician. Henry David Bolton is a British politician who was the leader of the UK Independence Party from the 29th of September 2017 to the 17th of February 2018. He is a former British Army Lance Corporal and Territorial Army officer and police officer who has worked in a number of roles related to border management strategies. He became UKIP leader after winning the party's 2017 leadership election and gave himself the additional role of defence spokesperson in January 2018. Bolton was removed as party leader in February 2018 following his relationship with a party member, and controversy caused over racist comments she made to a friend about Prince Harry's fiancée, Meghan Markle. Bolton's departure triggered UKIP's fourth leadership election in 18 months. Early life and career Bolton was born in Nairobi, Kenya. He served in the Royal Hussars from 1979 to 1990. After leaving the army he joined the Territorial Army, and was commissioned in 1992 into the Wessex Regiment. Two years later Bolton was promoted to captain. Following the disbanding of the Wessex Regiment, Bolton served in the Royal Gloucestershire, Berkshire, and Wiltshire Regiment, and the Royal Rifle Volunteers before leaving the Territorial Army in 2000. Since leaving the regular army in 1990, he has undertaken security and policing roles. For eight years he was a police officer in the Thames Valley Police, during which time he received an award for outstanding bravery. He worked with the Foreign and Commonwealth Office, during which he was seconded to hostile environments including Afghanistan. Bolton was appointed an officer of the Order of the British Empire in the 2013 New Year Honours, for services to international security and stabilization following his role as a stabilization team leader for the Provincial Reconstruction Team in Helmand Province, Afghanistan. Political career Bolton stood as the Liberal Democrat candidate at the 2005 general election for the seat of Runnymede and Weybridge in Surrey, but defected to UKIP in 2014, saying that he felt more comfortable in a party that said what it thought. In 2015, he stood as a UKIP candidate for Shepway District Council. Bolton is chairman of the Manston Airport Supporters Group. Why not Manston? Vice chairman of the Remembrance Lion Association Heritage Group and founding member of the Folkestone Heritage, Arts, and Tourism Forum. Bolton became the leader of the UK Independence Party on 29 September 2017. He had previously been the party's candidate in the 2016 election for Kent Police and Crime Commissioner finishing in second place to Conservative Party candidate Matthew Scott. Political views Bolton has said that the effectiveness of policies is more important than whether they are from the left or the right. As a Liberal Democrat he said that being tough on issues of law and order was part of the party's principles. At the launch of his campaign to be UKIP leader, Bolton highlighted his opposition to the practice of female genital mutilation. During his leadership campaign he spoke of Britain's separation from the EU, saying that UKIP has a moral responsibility to make sure Brexit is a success for everybody. Leader of UKIP In July 2017, Bolton declared that he was standing in UKIP's forthcoming leadership election. He began as a relative unknown in a field of 11 candidates. However, his standing improved as other candidates withdrew, and he received the endorsements of four of the party's MEPs, James Carver, Jill Seymour, Mike Hookham, and Ray Finch. Former UKIP leader Nigel Farage had acted as his political referee to stand for the leadership. During the campaign Bolton challenged the decision to allow Anne-Marie Waters to stand. He said that her candidacy was in violation of the party's rules of procedure as she was not considered to be in good standing due to previous exclusions for elections. He withdrew the challenge when faced with the possibility that it could lead to countersuits against the party. Subsequently, he was quoted by the press as saying that UKIP was in danger of becoming the UK Nazi party if the wrong candidate were elected as leader. Following his victory he stated that Brexit is our core task, while separately declaring Islam a concern. However, he believes an anti-Islam agenda would offer UKIP little gain. In recognition of his new role, in October 2017 he was placed 
at number 86 in the top 100 most influential people on the right by commentator Ian Dale. In January 2018, it became known that Bolton had left his wife and embarked on a relationship with Joe Marnie, a model, and party member nearly 30 years his junior. As a consequence Bolton faced demands from members of UKIP that he stand down as leader. On 14 January it was reported that Marnie had been suspended from UKIP following allegations that she had sent a series of SMS messages containing racist comments about Prince Harry's fiancée, Meghan Markle. Her comments also targeted immigrants and Grenfell Tower families. The following day, Bolton announced he had ended his relationship with Marnie, but media subsequently reported the two continued to be seen in each other's company. Responding to these reports, Bolton suggested that the controversy would fade away. On 19 January 2018, MEP Jonathan Arnott announced his resignation from UKIP. In his resignation letter, he stated that he had lost confidence in Bolton, who he felt was not the right person for the job but thought no better of those jockeying for position in the party. On 21 January, the UKIP National Executive Committee delivered a vote of no confidence in Bolton. Only Bolton voted against the motion. Bolton had made it clear earlier that day that he would not resign if the vote went against him, because he felt another leadership election would destroy the party. Consequently, at the emergency meeting of UKIP's NEC, it was decided that party members would be balloted on whether Bolton should be removed from office, as the NEC does not itself have the power to dismiss the leader. On the 22nd of January, Margot Parker resigned as deputy leader, claiming Bolton had left the party in limbo. Immigration spokesman John Bickley, trade and industry spokesman William Dartmouth and other spokesmen resigned on the same day. At an extraordinary general meeting held in Birmingham on 17th of February, 63% backed a motion of no confidence in Bolton, and he was removed as UKIP leader, a decision that triggered UKIP's fourth leadership election in 18 months. Acting UKIP leader Gerard Batten subsequently suggested that Bolton had left the party. On the 22nd of February 2018, Bolton and Marnie appeared as guests on an edition of the ITV daytime magazine program This Morning, where Bolton argued that Marnie's Grenfell Tower comments had been taken out of context and that it was important to have a debate about illegal immigration. Personal life Bolton is married to Russian Tatiana Smirova, his third wife. The couple have two children. In 2016 she gave birth to their second child on a train at St. Pancras Railway Station. The couple separated at Christmas 2017. He also has a daughter, born in 1985, from his first marriage to a Danish national, Karen Dawn. Bolton began his relationship with Joe Marnie after meeting her shortly before Christmas 2017, and spent Christmas with her after leaving his wife. He claimed to have ended the relationship with Marnie after details of her SMS message comments, in which she made overtly racist comments against Meghan Markle, the fiancé of Prince Harry, came to light, though the two continued to see each other. Bolton said he had been unaware of Marnie's comments. However, during their this morning appearance following his resignation, Bolton and Marnie confirmed their relationship had ended while he sought to keep his office, but that it had since been rekindled. Amidst the media attention of his alleged adultery with Marnie, Bolton's second wife, Lydia Gauniakova, another Russian national, accused him of having been unfaithful to her too. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries Would you like to know more?